Yo, welcome back, you cackly kinkles, to Zooter 5. We're all schooled up, and we're gonna keep on moving forward with our lives because we have so many checks to check in this randomizer. This is the most insane randomizer that we have ever attempted, and we gotta keep on moving because there's just so much to do. All right, Malin normally gives us an egg but that was replaced today with the silver rupee for the huge pit in the shadow temple. I don't even know what that's talking about. What huge pit is it talking about? Oh, I think it's that like gigantic room that has all the pits for you to fall into. <laughs> Watch out. And Mr. Scratchy Boy actually had a skull to the token for us. Kept it real with us, kept it simple. Is there a purpose to going to Hyrule Castle right now. I don't know if the rupees in the moat are randomized. I guess we'll go ahead and find out. I'm not really gonna talk to Gossip Stones because I'm not really looking for hints because it is my intention to go for a pretty much 100% completion of this randomizer because I want to show you guys where all the cows, crates, freestanding rupees and hearts are, all the, all the random stuff. This is kind of to be served as a randomizer guide for y'all. So if you guys ever play with these settings yourself, you will know of all the locations to check. So I'm gonna be very thorough. Henry David Thoreau. Did I ever tell you guys it took me over a decade to realize that the Hyrule stage in Smash Bros 64 is this castle from Ocarina of Time? This moat water smells like ass sweat. But sometimes you gotta swim through some ass sweat to get what you want in life. And it doesn't seem like any of these rupees in the moat were randomized, unfortunately. Too snoring down here on the job. Everyone's sleeping in this game. Bomb shoe lady, Talon. Are the guards sleeping on the job? No. They're woke as heck. Alright, throw me out, see if I care. I don't. I don't. Maybe I kind of do. And then back to the market. The crates in the Hyrule Market are randomized during the nighttime, but not during the daytime. Gerudo membership card. <laughs> Very interesting. Yite. And oh, ice arrows or blue fire arrows. So this is a quality of life improvement they added to allow you to actually use the blue fire arrows or the ice arrows in this game. Because normally they don't have a use in Ocarina of Time. But with this upgrade, you can now melt red ice with the blue fire arrows. But we can't use them until we get both magic and the bow. Hello Richard! What's this man talking about? It seems like it's taken forever for dawn to come. The view of Hyrule Castle and the morning sun is so fantastic. Dude, your pecs are fantastic. And I mean that. Is it all the random crates? I think so. Let's return the doggo to the home. Come on, puppo. I got you. There's a crate. Lens of Truth? Lens of Truth! which we can't use until we get magic. But that's awesome! Lady, do you have anything as good as your crate had? No, of course not. Oh, look at the dog, it just sits down. Such a good dog. I'm just gonna push it over into the corner. So when I leave the room, the crate will respawn and encapsulate the dog and it'll be stuck forever. I'm malicious to the highest degree. Did any of you guys see the Ocarina of Time fan animation that was made that has the Studio Ghibli art style? It came out not too long ago and it might be one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. I really wish the, the Zelda movie that they announced was being animated and had a Studio Ghibli art style. But the fact that they're doing live action is, is kind of cool. You know, I might get a lot more normies. Wait, it just called me a loser? You found five rupees. Even so, you were not very lucky. 
Why am I not lucky for finding five rupees? I feel like the luckiest lad in the land. None of the other blue rupees are antagonizing me. Why did that one? <laughs> oh, it seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? It's because they don't want to get eaten. There's a lot of dog eaters around here. Can't blame them. But yeah, the Legend of Zelda movie. I'm still kind of in shock that that's a real thing that we're going to be watching eventually. I honestly never imagined that Miyamoto himself would tweet out that we're getting a live action Zelda movie. But here we are today and it's happening. My hopes are that the movie is going to be based around Ocarina of Time. Because I think this this game in general has the most like Hollywood movie storyline to it. Oh, we have the re-dead moan to greet us in the morning. It's our daily moan. Give me your daily moans down in the comment section below. I don't think Temple of Time has anything random for us right now. Nah, we'll come back here later once we're done doing all our Young Link activities. But yeah, I hope the new Zelda movie is based around Ocarina of Time because I think it would be really awesome for the beginning of the movie to be like a really expansive Kokiri forest and to have a Peter Pan vibe showing all like the Kokiri kids like playing with each other but being mean to Link and excluding him. And then all of a sudden Navi comes and like starts him off with his adventure. And I just really want to see a lot of the Ocarina of Time bosses recreated with CGI. Imagine a giant CGI Bongo Bongo. Now honestly, if I was able to, I would audition to play as Link in the movie. Because I honestly feel like I would fit the role really, really well. The only issue with me is I'm pretty tall and Link isn't the tallest guy in the world. But, you know, with a little bit of movie magic, they can make me shorter. You know, just shrink me a little bit. Or just have Link be taller. Why not? Nothing wrong with Link being taller. Not every single physical attribute has to line up. I'm sure whoever they choose isn't going to be perfect looks-wise. They're probably going to be a bit clout chasey with whoever they decide to cast for the movie. We just got to pray that it's not Tom Holland because he's already in way too much. But this is going to be something I'm sure as Zelda fans are going to be talking about and speculating for a long time. Which Zelda game do you guys hope they follow the timeline for or storyline for for the movie? Or do you hope they pick a completely different storyline for the movie and don't even try to follow any of the video game storylines? Okay, so we have random Kaku number on, so I'm not sure how many chickens we need to save for Anju. Five. Okay. Five out of seven. Not too bad. We'll name the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Todd. Perfect names. Dude was telling us the time? Alright, there's so many random crates and pots around this town that we gotta find. We gotta be as thorough as possible. <laughs> I'm not sure if some of these crates only have stuff during the night time. This game is super duper random with that. <laughs> it's all right though, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Dude, stop running from me. I'm gonna turn you into canes and have you turn into some delicious chicken tendies. Anybody else here fans of canes chicken? I love Kane's Chicken. <laughs> it's like my favorite fast food restaurant to go to. It's so simple and so good. I love their bread. I'm not a huge fan of their french fries though. Their french fries honestly could be a bit better. I wish they had curly fries as an option. Also, I've never tried their coleslaw. Coleslaw is like kind of terrifying to me. Oh, did we find a bottle? We did. We got a bottle. Honestly, rockin'. Be able to refill another silver rupee for the Gerudo training grounds. 
Oh, where'd he go next? I'm kind of like overwhelmed by how many checks there are in this location now. <laughs> we got the chickens, we got the pots. I gotta talk to Mr. Crazy Pants up on the roof. Bam. 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 Ooh! Where's that wallet upgrade? Just give it to me now! <laughs> I want it so bad. <gasps> I hate how many rupees we waste when we don't have it. It just feels like such a waste. And it is. Where do the rupees even go whenever you collect rupees? <laughs> Does the wallet just dissolve them? There's like a little acid slot or acid pouch in the wallet and it just secretes acid and dissolves any of the rupees that we can't fit. <laughs> that checks out. Sort of. Not really. Bingo. You happy, Anju? Ah, thank you for finding my cuckoos. Damn you! I'm gonna throw them all out because of that. You don't deserve no cuckoos after that. I'm just taking this one to be petty, and also because I can use it to fly over this fence over here. Hey, come back! Come back! Hey! I'm talking to you! Don't grab onto the bush! Kakariko Village is so peaceful. Iconic. Go back to your home. To your leisure activities. It's so weird that animals just exist to exist and that's it. Like, how come as humans we have, like, so many goals and aspirations? Animals, all they want to do is eat. And, like, once they eat, they're good. They're happy. Sometimes I wish I was an animal, but then other times I'm like... <sighs> Do I really want to be an animal? <laughs> you know, it's a double-edged sword. There's pros and cons to everything in life. I don't think we can go through this door, can we? Pretty sure this place is all locked up. Who's there? What a bad kid trying to enter from the rear door. Such a bad kid. Wait, what gossip was that? And, sir, I'm always entering from the rear door. That's how I roll. This boss carpenter has a son. He's the guy who sits under the tree every night. Don't tell the boss I told you that. Why is the boss trying to keep his lineage a secret? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder that about my own dad. I wonder if my dad, like, tries to disassociate from me because I'm, like, the weird internet dude who says the most outlandish things online. My dad's like, that's not my son. <gasps> no way! Quad son? Oh, praise quad son! He's back here to bless us! He is so happy I got the quad sun tattoo that he decided to return to us for Zooter 5. This is a magical moment for everyone. Oh my lord. Oh my quad sun. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> quad sun's here to bless Zooter 5, y'all. That's how y'all know it's gonna be a good series. Am I right? I hope I'm right. I hope this is a good series. Hope you guys are excited for this. A lot of you have been requesting it, and I am sorry that it took so long to start this, but I've just been doing so much in life, and sometimes things are better when we wait a little bit and let the anticipation build up. That is another hot container. More rupees for the acid slot, the acid pouch. What we got in this room? Oh damn, this dude has a tight ass. I only know that because he's wearing the skinniest of pants. No pots in this room? Are you joking? I demand pots. Give them to me now. Is there a red rupee up there? Now look at all these books in here. What kind of books and literature do you guys think they read in Hyrule? Something really cool about the Mario Kart ride in Universal Studios is there's one section in the line where it's like Bowser's office and they have a ton of Bowser books and literature and the, the names and titles of the books are all like really funny and referential and 
And it's just like fun to look at all the, the book spines and see what type of books Mr. Bowser be reading. I'm reading the Twilight Princess manga right now. And Link has some books inside his house and he actually reads them. He starts reading like some dark magic books. Trying to be a wizard out here. <gasps> it's the A button! We found the A button! Yes! Oh yeah. We can play a single note on the ocarina. Bum, 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 This guy behind us is not amused in the slightest. He's like, really bro? You gonna play that single note next to me? He's a connoisseur, he's a hipster, so he likes more sophisticated music. He doesn't like that dumbed down pop crap that all the kids listen to these days. He's above all that. We love a condescending asshole. Not really though. <laughs> it always annoys me when people like act like they're above certain things. Like, oh, I'm too good to listen to Mary's Got a Little Lamb because I have exquisite tastes. I like all these fools around me. Sometimes I think it's dumb when people can't, like, enjoy the simple things in life, you know? When they act like they, everything they listen to has to be, like, super high quality. Well, it's like, dude, just be done with us for a minute and jam out to Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. It's not that complicated to let loose and have a good time. Alright, nothing in here for us at the moment. Just some ugly spider people. I think this is all we can do in Kakariko during the daytime. Do we have, how many sticks do we have? Zero. Okay, probably not even good to stick around for Skultulas. We'll come back for those later. For now, let's go back to, let's go down to Lon Lon Ranch and have a hoedown throwdown. Have some whiskey for my men and beer for my horses. That's how we do it over in these parts. Can I get there before nighttime though? It's a race against the sun. It feels so nostalgic to be playing Azuda right now though. <laughs> it's weird the multi layers of nostalgia this gives me at this point. Because I always have nostalgia when playing Ocarina of Time. It's just how it is. I've been playing this game since I was a lad. Now I've been playing randomizers for like five years now. So playing randomizers is nostalgic for me. And it's just so many layers of nostalgia. It's great. And it seems like lots of you are having that nostalgia too, because I read all the comments from the last section, and a lot of you guys have been playing Randomizer and Ocarina of Time recently, and it's just good to know that there's still so many people out there playing this game in 2023 and 2022. Let's make sure people are playing this till 2050. Whoa, where'd that rupee go? Oh, some stuff appeared on top of the house. Uh-oh. Can I reload it? That's not good. We got some cows in here. Once we have Epona song, we can play that to them and they will give us random objects. But that's once we have Epona song. Uh, let's throw the pots this way. That way the objects don't get stuck on top of the stable. Cause that makes me mentally unstable when that happens. Boss key for the Wawa Temple. We love the Wawa Temple. So quenching. Piece of heart! Uh, we have no more sticks, so I have to do it to him like this. <laughs> the best type of overkill. It's so weird having so many green rupees. Typically, randomizer only has one or two green rupees in the randomizer pot. But now with all these new settings, there's hundreds. I'm not sure how many checks we have for this randomizer in total, but there is a lot. And I don't even need to explain to you guys why. You guys, you guys can do the math. All right, hopefully these guys have some good prices. Come on, give us those Cyber Monday deals. 55 rupees. Not as Cyber Monday-y as I was hoping, but I'll still take it. Ow. Got me on the side. 
31 rupees. That's a random number. <laughs> Has that phantom tax. No! Frozen. But I have to let it go. And I can't afford that right now. We'll have to come back for it. Now, while I'm editing this series, I will be like taking notes of all the things that we miss and have to come back to, like things that we can't afford and all that. So, don't worry too much about my memory. That's kind of the, the perks about these Zooter Let's Plays, is I am very, very thorough with everything I do because of the fact that I edit these videos as well. That way, this is like the most pristine randomizer experience for everybody. Is there anything in this hay? I had to check. Let's go ahead and get back here. I think we're pulling these crates faster. Pretty sure faster crate pushing is a quality of life improvement this game has. Aw, oh, look at this fool back here. And we're still gonna collect it because of the OCD. It always bothers me so much when people who stream randomizers don't even pick up the random objects. Like some randomizer players will play with the chest contents matching the size and they just won't even open up the small chest because they assume that it's something that they don't need to beat the randomizer. Which they would be correct. They don't need it to beat the randomizer. But still, like, do it anyways because of the OCD. <laughs> I feel like the, the Attacking Toucan's channel in general kind of encapsulates my OCD because of how thoroughly I play almost all the games that I have on this channel. But that's also why I like my Attacking Toucan's channel. It's because all the series on my channel are very, like, full and complete and finished. And now I have my other channel, Wide Toucan, which is where I post more of my it's more of my like kind of shit posting channel it's where i post things from like streams and more clips and stuff that way i have a place to post stuff where i don't have to let my ocd-ness like kind of carry over and i know like ocd isn't technically the proper politically correct term for whatever i'm describing but honestly i don't have any better word to describe it so you're just gonna have to bear with me on that one until I can figure out a better word to describe my personality trait of having to do everything as thoroughly as possible. Now let's roll our pink ass all the way over to the Gerudo Valley. Because this time we hear some delicious music. Although we might not hear it because it's going to be nighttime. That's going to suck. Quad sun setting. Good night, quad sun. You have a good night. Sweet dreams. My sweet son. Dude, what's up with this? Is this, a, is this a rock or a tree? I can't even tell. I think it's a rock. It's a random spire. Wait, why did the wolf howl? I thought we were supposed to hear a re-dead moan for the night and the day. At least I thought so. Hmm. So obviously, some Skultalas are pains and the Scratcher until we get the Boomerang. Because there's no way for us to get far away Skultala tokens until we have the Boomerang. Let's fling ourselves off a cliff real fast. Now this crate's always randomized. Will it be double randomized? Maybe it'll unrandomize itself. Oh wait, oh, I didn't mean to throw it off. Pick it back up, pick it back up. Good, good. Silver rupee for something. I like with spamming A because I was afraid of losing my chicken. Oh, there's a crate right there too. So much goodness. So much randomizer juiciness. What do you all think of these settings so far? I'm very curious to know your opinions on having this much stuff randomized. Do you guys like this, or do you think it's too much? In my opinion, it's, these settings are like good for a randomizer, like YouTube series, like I'm creating right now. But for just like casual play, for just playing a randomizer for fun, I don't think they're the move. Because they're, they're like so like over the top. They're so theatric. It's like, why would you want to do... Like, if you're looking for a good time, I wouldn't necessarily choose these settings. 
but for a YouTube series like this where I'll be able to do editing and we have like the commentary and all that stuff I find it a bit more acceptable and less of a pain and on top of that you guys don't have to necessarily go through the pain it's me who has to do all the work and you guys just get to sit back and watch and listen to me talk about random stuff with y'all and I can't wait to see what conversation topics we get on the series because I feel like I'm an entirely different person since the last time I did a Zooter series, like an official one. I've gone through so much, the world has gone through so much. I don't think I'd even started my Lil Tall career whenever I did Zooter 4. A lot has happened since Zooter 4. And that will definitely reflect on the gameplay, on the commentary, on our discussions in the comment section. It's gonna be a good time. I'm here for it. Obviously, because I'm the one making the series. Are you guys here for it? That's the real question. So I want you guys to be here for it. I hope you're all locked and loaded. I see some random stuff underwater. I think all this stuff is gonna be random. We have a heart. We have a key, a silver rupee. But we can't dive deep enough to get any of the stuff. Can we do fishing real fast? We should be able to. Catch a big tilapia, fry it up and make some fish tacos. I love making fish tacos. One of my favorite meals to make homemade on Taco Tuesday. Love all the ingredients, the cabbage, the cilantro, the cojita cheese. Ned, our man, he's back. Scratching all of his orifices. He wants us to catch a six pounder. What if I flop my six pounder onto his desk? He probably doesn't want that. <laughs> he wants a six pound fish. Okay, bring it on home. Oh, this is a tiny guy. No. No small fries allowed. Oh, this might be big enough looking bigger now that it's getting closer. That's what she said. <laughs> Come on, dude. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Acha-cha, acha-cha, acha-cha. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This might be big enough. It's crazy it's five pounds, yet it's like the same size as Link. How much does Wink weigh? <laughs> like, how much does Wink, how much does Link weigh? <laughs> like, 12 pounds? <laughs> Link weighs the equivalent of a newborn infant. He's on that Kokiri salad diet. That Deku nut diet. This dude has to be big enough, right? Hey, pay attention. Don't ignore me. Are you joking? HR will be hearing about this. <laughs> Imagine attacking Toucans having an HR department. <laughs> It would be getting so many complaints. Has a viewer ever like sued a YouTuber because they were just like unhappy with the type of content they made? Eight pounds. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not the first. Let's not. Let's not be a catalyst for something now. <laughs> Dude's using the wrong type of deodorant. Yes, go to the token. Way to end the episode. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode rod in hand. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I can get it off my mind. So I run and run and run and keep my focus, stay alive. I need to focus on my godly flow. I drink from the chalice, now I die slow. I just want to go.